There's still no deal, but Democrats in the nation's capital are narrowing their differences over President Biden's massive social spending bill. CBS's Christina Ruffini is at the White House with the very latest. Christina. Good evening, Jamie. The president spent the afternoon at his granddaughter's field hockey game, but he spent the week trying to remind disagreeing Democrats they're on the same team. You got to work things out. President Biden is encouraging Democratic lawmakers to agree on a framework for the Build Back Better plan sooner rather than later. So if it takes an extra week, to me, that's worth it. But Pramila Jayapal, chair of the House Progressive Caucus, says the details are still being worked out. We are trying to get to a place where everybody can agree to something that is still transformative. The original $3.5 trillion bill was trimmed to $2 trillion in order to appease Senate Democrats Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, who opposed the initial price tag. We will get nothing uh, if we do not have 50 votes. The White House has been encouraging the two wings of the party to compromise. Compromise is not a dirty word. One thing both teams seem to agree on, funding for universal pre-kindergarten. But other measures like free community college are out. Paid family leave gets trimmed from 12 weeks to four. And the president said this week a proposal to expand Medicare to cover vision and dental seems unlikely. I'm prepared to do the things that can get done now that can begin to change the lives of ordinary Americans to give them a fighting chance. Now, once they decide what goes in the bill, they still have to decide how to pay for it. One option would be to increase taxes on billionaires, but it's unclear if all 50 Democratic senators would agree. And remember, Jamie, they can't afford to lose a single vote. Wow. Christina Ruffini, thank you.